<clears throat> okay, tonight's tonight's stop is, is Mem Mem Zion. I feel to be a balchoy of a shtickle on Mem Mem Vav to go back to something that I alluded to but did not discuss. Uh, basically because I didn't know. <laughs> today, today I, Hashem Yorah and I, and let's go back and discuss something we said yesterday. Uh, the Mishnah, the, the Mishnah stated a case where uh, a shor went ahead and damaged a shor went ahead and damaged a a. Uh, a, a para, and you found an uber on the side of it. The question is, was the uber part of the n- n- uh, damage or not? Was it born before or not? So the Mishnah said that you pay chatzin nezik on the para and a, a revia nezik on the on the on the on the vlad on on the baby, on the miscarried. Same halacha regarding when the para is the mazik. Was the was the baby part of the damage or not? Same same halacha. Collect. You could collect from at the para and the come and collect a quarter. That was okay. We said that, that was the opinion of Samchis. That was the opinion of Samchis. However, there's of a If you want to go ahead and collect anything for the Uber, prove anything for the Uber, you have to bring a raya. The Gemara asked, What was the Lushan Zekhal Godl Bedin? And the Gemara said, Afilu if the Nizik Tain is Bori for sure. I know for sure unequivocally. That the baby was inside the mother when you are sure gored it, and the niz and the masik time is maybe I don't know. Even in that case, we're going to say might make a varaya. So Heshi had asked me, and and Benji had asked me previously when we discussed this. Why don't we say the rule of bari v'shema bari adif? A guy who comes with a claim of certainty, I get, I know for sure that what that that the baby was in there. And the other one says, I don't know, maybe. So why don't we believe the guy says Bari? And, and that would mean. And in in fact, there is Gemaras that say Bari Shem of Bari Adaf. Uh, for example, the Gemara in in uh, in Bab Mitzia, if a guy says, oh, you have a hundred dollars of mine in your, your possession, and he says, I don't know, I don't know. Over there, we're gonna say you owe him a hundred dollars. We're gonna say the Bari, the time of Bari, is stronger than my then. So why over there we say the hundred dollars if the guy kind of you own for sure and he says I don't know you give him the hundred and over here the guy says for sure the the baby was part of the 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 mother at the time of the damage we don't say that what's the difference between the two so let's see Tyson's the H Lema very fascinating Svara I like I love the Svara guys it's the it's the it's the second Tyson's on the page the big one that uh, uh, again Memvav and Aleph uh the 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 Afilu Nizik Bari so if you go down, and Mamish in the halfway point towards the end of Taisus, the halfway point of Taisus says Lima. That's the last word on the line is Kedapricious the L. And it says Vyesh Lima. Do you have it, fellas? Yeah. We have okay. Now so again, we're looking for the chilik between the two, right? It's very Vyesh Lima, Kidapricious the L. The Hassam, or the case where the guy claims a hundred dollars, the other guy says, I don't know. Bori Shaloi Toiv. His Bori is very good. Because he knows he knows that the other guy is going to say, what are you talking about? In other words, you come over to the guy and say, you owe me $100. If it's not true, he, he knows the guy's going to say, are you nuts? No, the guy is going to... He, he, in other words, it's so obvious that if you're not telling the truth, the reaction of the other guy is 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 going to substantiate what? You're set, you're buried. And the guy who is being claimed from that he owes the hundred, he should go ahead and know that. So in other words, this guy says, Bori, I know you owe me a hundred dollars. The other guy says, I don't know. His I don't know strengthens the guy's what? Bori. First of all, is Bori in the first place is subjecting himself to what? The other guy's saying, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? And then what does he say? He doesn't say, "Are you crazy?" He says, "I'm not sure. I don't know." That then we say, "What bari adif?" Because that that bari is strong. Hilkach medaitin shema mukach milsa medetoyin shema mukach shema mukach milsa the bari the high emesu. When he said, "I don't know," when he should know, that makes his bari strong, right? U bari adif aval hacha over here. What's the claim, guys? What's the bari over here? I know for sure that that baby was inside the ak, uh, at the cow at the time of the shtoising. I know that for sure. My, my shetoyim bari, lefi she yedea, 
That guy wasn't there. He has no way of knowing whether right. Something he shouldn't have known. In other words, when he goes in and says, I know for sure that that baby was inside the mother when, right now. That's not such a strong kind of why. A, because he knows the other guy wasn't there. So the other, other guy has no way of saying what. So when he says Shema, it does, it's not a concern in him, Shema, because how is he supposed to know? The nail is a beautiful svar to mechalik between the bari of what, where you claim the hundred, and he says, I don't know, and their bari are rather than here where his bari is is not so strong. Why? His bari is not so strong because he knows the other guy can't weaken him, and the other one, Shem, is not so weak because how is he supposed to know? Masha'en came by the case of the hundred dollars, his bari is strong because if he's not telling the truth, he knows the other guy is going to weaken it, and the other one, Shema, is a weak, is, it weakens his claim because he really should know. So beautiful chilek Taisus makes between between the two. Beautiful svara to mechalik between why we don't say bar Hashem bar Yadif. But you like it, Harold? One second, one second. Okay, so I thought it's worthwhile to go ahead and see that point to explain the difference between the two. It was very, very nice. Okay, today's doc really is is I'm going to speak out. Uh, I'm going to speak out the the shot because it's it's very it's, it's it's difficult. Let's go through. Let's go to case number one. Let's go to case case number one. You have a shark. It goes an ox. It goes up a para. You don't know what. So what did the Mishnah say? The Mishnah said you're going to pay chatsi nezek on the on the on the para and a quarter of nezek on the on the uber. Now, let's say. This animal did not miscarry, and the shore went ahead and gored it, and it's a tam. What would it pay? Wow, chatzinesek. You pay chatzinesek. So if the shore was worth, two, if the part was worth two hundred dollars, you gored it, right? What do you pay? Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars, right? So now let's go through this. So the shore gored an ox, a, a para that was worth two hundred. It miscarries. So now you're gonna pay what? A hundred for what for the and you're gonna pay what? A quarter for what? For the for offspring, you know, and you're gonna pay what? You're gonna pay fifty for the offspring, right? So you cost it costs you hundred and fifty dollars. Now, how much is the whole Nezik Shah? Lame is two hundred. This is a time. Why are you paying three quarters instead of paying half? Again, according to Sumchis. According to Pashib Shat, if you have a cow that's worth 200, right? So now, half of 200 is, is, is 100. A quarter of 200 is 50. So there you're going to go ahead and pay 150, which is three three quarters of the damage. But a time is only supposed to be chatsi nezek. That's the problem. You have to hear the, the problem, right? Yeah, but you didn't value the Uber or the Uber is part of the cow, and, and, and most you can pay, even separate, it's still part of the cow. In other words, the damage is only if it miscarried before you, uh, uh, um, so, no, if it miscarried before and dove, it's out of the pasture completely. And if it's part of it, then it's part of the cow. In other words, you, you can't create more money there, right? You, you hear what I'm telling you, good? So now, you, you guys hear it's a Kavali Akasha. So here's 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 the terrors of a buyer, guys. When it says half, you know what it means? Half of what it would have been had it not, not been a shutter involved in this. In other words, we're dealing with a case where the guy sold the Uber to somebody else. So you have Ruvain owns the cow and Shimon owns the okay. So now the taina is the taina is that what? That there's a shutif over here. There's there's a there's a, there's a shutif. So had it not been a shutif, so the half is what you would have paid it had not been a shutif. But now there's an a shutif, it's going to be half of a half, which is a quarter. It's a quarter, right? And now what's a half of a quarter? It's an eighth. So basically you're paying what? A quarter is what? Is is, is two eighths. And, and, and one eighth, you're paying three eighths. So you're paying less than half. Half is four eighths, you're going to be paying three eighths. That's, that's the way a violence shot. When it says in the Mishnah here, it means not that you're paying Chatzinezek, it means what you would pay, what you would pay if there wasn't a Shutif. But now there's a Shutif 
that your mom and a mother is suffic. There's a suffic, and there's a suffic. You got your suffic with half of half, a quarter, half of a quarter, an eighth, and now you're gonna pay three eighths. Huh? Yeah, and only only the other. But the whole value of the whole of the land is still two hundred. Hmm? The value. The is Again, he owns he 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 owns the over. This is, I guess, the case where the par is the damager. The par is the damager, so you want to collect from that from the from the uber as well. Okay, so now. Oh, uh, that's okay. Okay, so this that's the kasha. The kasha is the following. You're still not paying here. Because that's the kasha. That's it, Avrami. So three eighths is not four eighths. It's not a half. It, it, so no, but, I'm just telling you. This is what a buyer says. Rob's claim is that it, 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 it don't match up. You know, the, 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 the books don't cook. You're cooking the books. It don't, it don't work. So Rob is going to answer Stamazoi, you'd pay half if there was no Uber. If, and if there's no ax, you'll pay a quarter. In other words, let's say it damages it and it's worth nothing. So I, I can't collect Katsinezek, right? It's worth, the, the, it's worth nothing. It's worth nothing. I can't, I can't, let's say the ax is not there to collect from. So what will I what will I collect from? If the power is not there to collect from, I'll collect from the Uber. I'll collect from the Uber lot, but maybe the Uber wasn't part of the damage. So I'll collect a quarter. Good. What happens if if the Uber is not there? Right? Then I'll collect everything from the axe. So the Uber is there only if the axe is not there. So if the if the Katsinesic is there, you're gonna pay Nesa. And that quarter is only if what if the what? If, if they're worth nothing. Okay, let's see it inside. Says the Gemara. V'chein, uh, v'chein para, we're up to mem hey amid beis, mem vav amid beis, the, the one line before the wide line. V'chein para shenokha es hashar. Chatsi nezek v'vini and nezek. Fred the Gemara, half a nezek and a quarter of a nezek. Palgan nezek hu deboi shlumei. Right? You're supposed to be palgan, only half. Kuli niska nechi riva, maya vidite. What are you doing with paying Nezek Shalem less a quarter, which is three quarters, right? What are you doing over there? So I'm Rabbi. Chatsi Nezek means Echad Me Arba Benezek, a half of a half. For a Via Nezek is Echad Me Shmoyne Benezek, means one of a quarter, which is an eighth. The par of Vlad the Chad Minayu, if the par was only like like both said, just one, Hachanami de Matsi Amalei Laval Para, me Manamsha, Chatsi Nezek Havli. I don't care about this number at all. Bottom line is, pay me up. I'll pay up. Now, the para was what uh, belonged to one person, the vlad belonged to another person. Now, the either called him the tovel of Alpara Tchila, right? <clears throat> if it was Tavay from the Alpara Tchila, Akanami Damale, the Alpara, Pora di Dach, as the Kasan, right? Hovli Raya, this the Hashutfi, bringing a Raya that is a Shutif, and, and you can pay less. But the bottom line is, guys, I, I'm going to the Balapara, and you're going to tell me, well, they, they, I have a shutif in here. There was a baby inside. He goes, I don't care. That's your problem. <laughs> your your parrot killed my ox. I want Chatzinezek from you. You 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 prove that what that it was part of you with part of the of the par at the time when the par was masik. You prove that, and great. But until you prove that, I want my money. That's if you go to the Balpara first, who was the masik. Ella, you know what happened over here. They called him the Tavila Bal Vlad Chila. He went to Shimon, the one who owned the, the Uber. He went to him first. The Amale, the Balpara says to him, the Balpara says to him, Golis Adaitoch, one second, you went to Shimon instead of me? You're revealing yourself, the Shutfoy Isli, that I have a Shutif. And therefore, what? I'm only going to pay you a quarter and not a half. Good. Ikad the army, Afagav, they called him Tavila Balpara Chila. Even if you go to the Balpara initially, Matsi Matchile. He's able to push you off and say, I'm not paying you Chatsi Nezek. The Amalei made the Yoda the shut for Isli, know that I have a Shutif in this, and therefore you know, I'm only going to give you a quarter. Again, that's Maman Amulta Basaf. So therefore, that's the way a buyer learns. So, okay? Amarava, guys, it worked, right? You know the math, right? Good. Amarava, to Echad Ma'arba Benesek, the Echad Mishmani Benesek, Tani, we don't have three eights. We don't have three eights. We learned half. We learned a quarter. We didn't learn three eighths. Three eighths is not a half. Four eighths is a half. Three eighths is not a half. El Amarava, Loilam Bipara Uvad Dechad. It's one. 
Kasha, then why are you paying three quarters? Guys, why are you paying three quarters if it's the same guy? If the par is around to collect from, you'll collect chatzinesik from the par. If the par is not around, you'll collect from Revia Nezek from who? From the Vlad. Good. Good. Guys are good. Let's see, let's see this Rashi. Let's see the Let's do the top Rashi. Less of the para, the tamim mishalom el megufay. So therefore, if it's not around, you can't collect. For amale hubli kula halge zeka mivlad the iu nami askan. Give me half the damage from the the, the vlad because it was part of the damage. For hade para, but Rabbi Svirle the chad gufahu. Rabbi says it was one guf. It was one shtick. For havi keecha meyevarecha kinefarish b'seif of the milsa. Okay, guys. Guys, outside, outside. I got an ox. Now, this is the latter case. The the ox is the is the nizik, the par is the mazik. So you have a para that's damaging. The question is, did it damage with a baby inside it and the baby's part of it, or did it damage clearly just without the baby? Good. Now, if it if it damaged with the baby, that when let's say the par is not around, the baby is around. The baby is as much. It's not considered a set. It's considered not a separate entity. It's ubi yerechimai. It's considered as if the par is around. Again, if you would know for sure, guys, watch. If you know for sure, give, let me give you the scenario. You have a pregnant cow. It goes an ox. Then it gives birth to a a baby, and then the ox drop. Then the par drops dead or runs away. What would you collect from that baby? Chatsi Nezek. It's just like, the, it's it's just like the, it's just like its mother. You, you collect Chatsi Nezek, right? Mm -hmm. In other words, if it's it's just it's not a it's separate entity. entity, it's one entity. So you would collect what Chatsi Nezek. But now in this case, what don't you know? You don't know if it was part of it of the para at the time of the damage. So what are you gonna pay? A quarter. So that's the way Rebel learns Pashat. When the Mishnah says that you're paying half for the cow and a quarter for the baby, it doesn't mean you're paying three quarters. You can only pay chatzinezek. So if the cow's around, and we know for sure the cow was the mazik, what's going to pay? Chatzinezek. And if the cow's not around, really you should pay from the baby, chatzinezek. But you don't know if the baby is a mazik or not. It's totally if it was part of it, Pesha's damage or not. So what are you going to pay? A quarter. Very geschmack. Machloik is between Rav and Abaya. Again, Abaya is a very, very doichik shot about three eighths. <laughs> you lucky, missed it. Yeah. And and the uh, and Rav is shot beautiful shot, right? But the main the kud of, of Rav guys is if you know for sure the animal was part of it at the time of the damage, it's considered a piece of the para. <laughs> very good. Haima, top line, Mem Zayin Amad Aleph. Haima, the reason why you collect the quarter, the lo yadinon, we don't know. Ihavi vlad bahado ki if the Vlad was part of it at the time of the damage, Eloi or not. And that's why you're collecting a quarter. I believe on the Havi Vlad Bahada. If you knew unequivocally that the Vlad was part of the par at the time of the damage, Kinacha Mishalin Kula Khatsinezim with Vlad. You'd collect Khatsinezik from the Vlad. Beautiful guys, right? We have clear? Yes, we have the, the bobblehead going, a real bobblehead. Yeah. I, I think it's clear, right? Very gishmat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. It's it's you know, when it makes sense, it makes so much sense. Uh, Mayash, are you good? Okay, great. Rava litame. Rava goes according to his reasoning. The Amar Rava, para shezika goiva mivlada. A para that does damage, you'll be able to collect from the baby. My timer. What's the reason? <clears throat> the baby is what part of the axe. The baby's part of the para. Good. How about this case? You got a chicken that does damage. And the chicken's got eggs in it. Is the egg considered part of the chicken that you can collect from it? Or separate and you can't? <laughs> what do you mean? There's my mushrooms for the egg. No, it's there. It's there. It's there. Huh? It's there. Uh, what's the answer? Tanagoyla says Zika. Ain't a guy from the bait sasa. Tanagoyla says there's damage. You won't collect from the bait. So why? My timer. Pierce the Baal Mahu. 
It's considered a separate entity, guys. It's considered Pirsa Ba'alma. The priest said we had in Chul and, 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 and perish the, the milk in the stomach of the rennet perish Ba'alma. I said that that's separate entity. But Amar Rava, now Rava says on, on the, the case of the, the ratio of the Mishnah, guys, this was going on the safe of the Mishnah where the Paro was the Mazik. Now we're going back to the case of the Mishnah where the Paro was the Nizik, where the Paro got damaged, the ox did the damage. We were just discussing the case where the, the, the cow damaged the ox. Now we're discussing the case where the ox damaged. Okay, now. Bama Rava, ain't shaman the Paro if they atzma of blood if they atzma. You're not going to, when you go ahead and you're going to evaluate how much to pay, you're not going to evaluate based upon what? Two separate entities, like a, two separate bodies. You're going to go ahead, what? And evaluate the the Vlad in the para. How much is para is worth with, with it, without it? Rashi. Ain't shaman, our ratio. It's going back on the ratio where the para was the nizik. Shor shenogach is para, the pila miscarries. Ain't shaman called echab if they atzmoi shoyland the mei hanesik harbe because then it'll be worth a lot more. You have a you have a, a cow and a calf. I will shaman para muberis. You evaluate how much is a cow worth when it's pregnant. Kam oisa yafet chila bekami shava achshav in mesa im chaya. And how much would be worth now if it's dead or without whether it's alive or not without without the vlad. You notice you don't. And not only that, the gemara now just extends that you you'll always evaluate it in the cheapest way for the mazik. Shemiyat to oimek king, because if you can say you evaluate it separately, nimsa at the makash as a mazik. The Gemara is going to ask, well, when you, when you weakening the mazik? If that's the halacha, weaken the mazik. What are you all of a sudden you're being nice? No, it's what's the halacha? Right versus nice, right? We don't care. And halacha, we don't care about nice. We want to be right. How much do you pay not to cut off a friend's hand, your, your eved's hands? Right? You don't do that. You evaluate an eved. How much should be worth with it or without it? You don't evaluate the field. Let's say you, you damage the field. So you don't evaluate a row by itself in the field by itself. You evaluate the field, how much it's worth with the row and not the row. Because again, if you're going to vote as two separate entities, it's going to be what? More prohibitively expensive for the mazik. If that's the din, go ahead and, 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 and weaken the mazik, if that's the din. Okay, so what's the kasha? Let's see Tysus. In other words, if the din is that you go ahead and evaluate them separately, guys, guys, and if the din is you evaluate them separately, yes? So evaluate them separately. We're, all of a sudden you're being nice? What's going on over here? So the Tysus, guys, is going to give the Kashna the test. This is a crucial Tysus. And <clears throat> third Tysus in the bottom. The one who asked the question, since they're two separate bodies, right? Shaman Vlad, if they atzmoi, Right, you should evaluate it by itself. Where you don't evaluate, you evaluate as one entity. Why contact? Why contact? This baby and this mother are owned by two separate people. Correct? Yes. So even though the even though the baby is inside the mother, the question is, was it inside the shaila? Was it inside or not? And you're going to evaluate it, right, based upon the cheshbon of sumchis. So for, now, you then go ahead and say, v'chein you find by an eved, and then you find by a field. Can you divide a hand, an arm, off an eved, or is it one entity? Yeah. Entity. But in a field, it belongs to the nizik totally. It doesn't belong to two separate people. So the row is part of a whole. So Fred the Gemara Kasha, your v'chein v'chein, your comparison between comparison between a a pregnant cow that owns that is owned by two two people, and it's a separate entity when it's out, is different than a field, different than an eved. So so that so Fred the Gemara Kasha, if so, if that is the if that is the din, if that's the tushtel. You can't no, no that's, that's the wrong word. You can't sustell it. You can't sustell it. All of them, right? That's the Marskasha. kasha. And what's the terrets? And uh, let's see the terrets. Continuous tesis. Lachi makshe idina hu kashanira mitachasvara lefisha heishne gufem lichoish masik umeshani panami kegufech adami. The amalei paramu. Ah, so back in the gemara now. 
So that's the answer to the question. A para, he, he says to him, I went ahead and damaged a para that was pregnant, right? And I will go ahead and, and be evaluated on a para that's pregnant and not on what? A para separately and a, and a vlad separately. So in other words, that's the time of the, of the, of the mazik. Okay. So now, now pshita par par dechad uvlad dechad, right? So pitma lebal para. Let's say you have a, a cow that's owned by two people, a cow and, and and it's vlad, and now the cow is fat. Now there's two guys. Let's speak out two things. There is the fat, the fact that when a cow's pregnant, it gains weight, not from the not only from the baby, it itself gains weight, and then there is the fact that the cow looks more healthy and robust when it's pregnant okay so now when it's the fatness that belongs to the balpara it doesn't belong to the you don't divide it between the it and the vlad and the owner of the vlad of the baby because the fatness innately is the cow but the fact that you can get money more money for the cow because it has a certain appearance that is a machloikis whether it's divided now the actual fatness of the cow, the balpara. That goes on. The fact that it appears what a certain appearance uh, of, of healthiness, my what's the din? I'll well, it up between the balpara and the, and the owner of the vlad, the hilchasa, okay, the halachas. So, yet some of a difficult Mishnah. <clears throat> the, in fact, the Mishnah does not go halacha la maisa. I'll tell you something very, very interesting according to Abaya, guys. What's the bias cheshbin? You're going to end up paying, watch. You're going to end up paying for the cow, you're going to end up paying a quarter. And, and for the baby, you're going to end up paying an eighth. A total of three eighths, right? What happens if you say, I'm of Araya? What would you pay? You'd pay more. You'd pay more. You'd pay here. You know, you'd pay more. If you say, I'm you know, usually you say, I'm going to pay more. That you divide it up, so you're taking it to a and the baby. We're saying you want to be mighty for the baby, you got to bring a raya. If not, so chatzinez will come out more. Okay, very fascinating. Yeah. Okay, so we have, and we have, so we have bias pshat, we have rabbis pshat, rabbis pshat. You're paying either or, either chatzinez when when the the par is around, or a quarter of the nezek, which you should pay here from the baby, but it's, it's a shiloh whether the baby is part of it or not, and you pay a quarter. Those are two ways to learn. Says Mishnah. We're going to have three cases of the same scenario. You have a potter. You wake up in the morning, you look in your front yard, and you have a bunch of earthenware drugs in there. Some Arab merchant decided to park it, right, maybe on East 9th Street, went to the park in the front yard. Bishabrabayas comes along the and, and breaks them. Potter. It's potter, correct? Why I should be high if you have no right to put them in the first place. Vim Huska Behen, not only are you potter, but if the animal of the of the Balakhatzer gets damaged, Balakadir is chayev, the one who goes ahead and put him in the Bihayev. In other words, he gets the short end of the stick both ways. Short end, he gets the short end, which makes a lot of sense. But he's trespassing. So now, you may may have a tiny that maybe you don't have a right to, to, to break break them. I mean, again, next, next case. Vim hichnis birishus, an exact same case, just the, the derivative. Vim hichnis birishus, guys, al cup. And if you go ahead and you have rishus to go in there, balachatz achayev, if what? If what? If, if what? If, if balachatz achayev, if what? If, if, if he breaks them. What happens if it gets damaged? What happens if he gets damaged? Would 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 he be potter? If he gets damaged, would he be potter? It doesn't in other words, it doesn't speak out what happens if I have you have a I tell you you have just to pick your pots there and they break, I'm hyped to pay. What happens if if you get damaged? Would you be potter? Why should you be potter? You would think that it doesn't say that. Yeah. Hichnis pay I don't know if it's a shame or no. Uh, no, he is Yeah, he is a shame. He's, yeah, he is a shame. Yeah. Hichnis pay. Okay, the same case, but instead of pots, guys, let's put in food. Hichnis pay roisa, ulachatza, 
Balabayish Le Bishus, Bachlosam be Masla Shabalabayas Pata, in Huska behind Balaba Paris Chayev, in Hichas Bishus, Balachat Chayev. Okay, scenario number three. Hichnis Shoyri Lachatza Balabayish Le Bishus. So the first case is speaking about past, the second case is speaking about what? About food, and the third case is speaking about a shark. Hichnis Shoyri Lachatza Balabayish Shaloi Bishus. And if he strikes the shabalabayas, he'll be chayev. And if there's a bar there, and your animal that you put in there, not full of bar, it falls in the bar, and the bar has water in it, the hifish meimav, and as a result, the water in the bar gets smelly, chayev. In the bar, and they get killed, mashalim is a kaifer. Again, this, we will discuss these cases, barichos. However, if you mach the spirishus, then balachatz chayev. If you uh, on the damage of the shark, Rebbe Oimer bekulin ani chayev. Rebbe says I'm chayev on all these cases. At she yikabel of lishmar, right? Until he's mekab, me, me, uh, you'll be chayev unless he's mekabel shmira. In all in all these cases, in in all the, in all these cases, you would want be chayev unless what he is mekabel shmira. Anything we discussed before, my. Uh, the, in other words, if you lechayra bring it in, right? If you if you bring it in, unless I'm even though I give you a shush to come in, unless I'm a kabbal shmira, I'll be part. Unless I'm a kabbal shmira, I'll be part. So in other words, the fact and so this is what I meant. You're not necessarily a shimer. The fact that I allow you to store it there doesn't necessarily make me a shimer. That it, that you know again, you know, uh, it, it's, it's 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 on your it's on your cheshbon. It's it's on your cheshbon. Okay, so the Gemara now is gonna is gonna go through a chet, a, chet, a In the in the in the second case, guys, in the case of where he is machnes birishus from hichnes birishus, we said balachat zachai, right? Good. So again, the case of the pots, you get the the owner gave rishus to bring your pots in. He gave rishus to bring your pots in. In that case, what you would be chai if it does damage. Good. What happens if you went shaloi birishus? Then you be pata. Taima. The reason why it's pata is you went Therefore, what if if they your animal gets damaged to chayev? Guys, this is going on the damage. What's happening? You had no rishus to put your pots there. My animal got damaged, and and my chutz there from your pots, you chayev. Good. Now we didn't say this, but we inferred it. Her bishus. And then, guys, when we said the case of Rishus, remember I was Medayak. We only discussed what? Damaging the pots. What about the animal getting damaged from the pots? Her bishus, right? But if you went ahead and brought it in Rishus, loy mechayev al kederis meniske behe masay de balchatze. Guys, outside, let's get the case down. You went ahead and you brought the, you had Rishus to bring the pots in. And now my animal gets damaged in your pots. Good. I gave you rishus to bring the pots in. Now, my animal now got damaged by your pots. It's mashma yubi pata. That's the inference. Yubi pata. Now, the bala kaderis. The bala kaderis will be pata on the damage to my animal. Why? Because I, I allowed him to go in, right? So, So now, we don't say that that the bal kederis was makabel to watch that the animal of the bal chatzer shouldn't get damaged. Now we again we don't say that money. Who is the tana? Is Rebbe he the Amar kol b'stama like kibble le nitirusa? Any time you say stam mishos. Unless you spell it out, mashma light the rabbanon, light the rabbanon. Guys, here's the key, guys. Light the rabbanon. If you go in Birishus, what did the Mishnah say? If the my animal breaks the pots, you be chayev. And the havamina is, it works both ways. If since you're in Birishus, if my animal would break in chayev, if your animal gets damaged, I'm potter. In other words, harba hatalia. Like the case, like, in other words, it's totally makes a lot of sense. Once you're given rishus, you're off. 
you're off. In other words, just like you get the short end if you don't have a shush, you get the upper end if you do have a shush. What's the upper end? There's two possibilities. Guys, there's two possibilities. The damage being done to it and the damage it does to others. So why are we assuming that this is Rebbe? Because like the Rabbanon, right? Like the Rabbanon, right? Like the Rabbanon, you would be just like, you enter, you would be what? You would be, you would be Chayiv, right? You would, you would be Chayiv every shus. My, I, I would be Chayiv if I do damage, right? Who had in? Oh, the, oh, I'm sorry. I told you the wrong Pshat. He says that what? The stomach, Kibola, and the Tirus, the Hachanami, Machai, Bal, Kaderis, Minsky, Bal, Abayas. Bal, no, so, 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 we, we, look, look at Rashi, guys. Look at Rashi. Money, Rebbe, he. Dama, Besefa, Kulan, and Nichayev. The Kasal, Kedaitach, why can't it be the Rabbonon? The Rabbonon, Kihechi, the Bal, Chotze, Bereshus, Nichayev, Minsky, Kedera, Isab. If the Bal, Chotze gives Reshus, he's going to be Chayev. In the damage to the pots, the bestoma kibul alehal in the tirusa, hachanami mechayev bal kederois beniske bal abayis. Even though he had reshus, the owner of the pots will be chayev for the damage done to the animal. Ki yovle bal abayis reshusa lemail kibul alehal kader in the tirusa loyloza kederois lebalachot. Let's redo it outside, guys. Guys, outside. Look at me. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. I got it. You're going to get it. <clears throat> we said that if the owner does not, the Balch owner doesn't give a shush, the Balchotza doesn't give a shush, if his animal gets damaged, the Chayim. Mashma, if he does give a shush, if his damage gets animals, you put them. That must be ready. Why? Because the assumption is the following. When they got a you know what I was telling you? I was telling you that if my animal damages your kalim, I'm going to have to pay. And the owner of the kalim says, and if my kalim damages your animal, I will pay. That's the Kanech, guys. Later, Abonon. Again, the, we have the word pata, guys. We have to finish in the infant's pata, right? Later, Chachamim, the word would be chayev. Why? Again, this is Havamina. Just like I go ahead and sit in the Kabul on myself, that my animal won't damage your pots the owner of the pot says and i'm a cobble that my pots won't damage your, damage your animal but we're saying in the mishnah the inference is you'd be potter <laughs> that you would potter the only one that would work out is according to rebbe because rebbe says anything unspoken you potter so now we are established that the inference of that case must be rebbe and not the rabbanon because like the rabbanon you be chayef and that have mean is going to change but that's the have mean Guys, in learning, anytime, guys, in learning, if you see Rashi say, Kisal at the end of the Gemara, you don't see the change. You don't know what's going on in the Gemara. We, here's here's going to be the change. We're, we're going to say, it's true that the Baal Chatzah is Chayiv for the Pats, but the Baal Pats is not Chayiv for the, for the animal. Right. But right now, we're holding you are Chayiv. Good? So now, says the Gemara. Let's take it away from the top. Taima, the reason why you're, you're Chayiv, if it does damage, it, that the the ball of the pots is chayiv, the shaloi bershus, because he didn't have a shush to be there. Her bershus, but if he did have a shush to be here, loy mechayiv, if the animal got damaged, he wouldn't, loy mechayiv al kadeiroi, spiniske behemoth balachatsa, he would not be chayiv. But loy amina, we don't say, kibule kibul bal kadeiris natirusa de masai, that the bal kadeiris was, he he took upon himself to watch this behemoth, the balachatsa, that it doesn't get damaged. Money rebbe he, it must be rebbe, because according to the chachamim, you be chayiv. Now, Next case, aim a safer in Hichnis Birishus. If you mach the Birishus, the Balachatza Chayev. Now, if you mach the Birishus, the Balachatza would be Chayev. Also, the Rabbonon. That would be the Rabbonon. You put it in Birishus and you didn't say anything, and now the animal got damaged, right? Chayev. That's the army bestom and nami, kibul, kibul, and it's Rusai. Visu, Rebbe Oimer, the Kula ni Chayev, Achi Kabul, love Balabayas, Lishmar. Comes out, Reisha B'Sefer Rebbe, Mitziyasa Rabbanon. Guys, look at the top of the page. Count down, one, two, three, four, five lines down. Five lines down. Vim hichnis b'rishos balachatz achayev. That's the Rabbanon. Correct? Now, Rebbe, Oimer, B'kulon nichayev, Achi, Kabbalah, Lishmar. That's Rebbe. 
And the case before we established the diak is according to Rebbe. So you have case number one, Rebbe, case number two, Rabbanon, and case number three, Rebbe. You usually want a certain symmetry in the Mishnah should come out according to what? Everybody. But it's not coming out according to everybody. Oh, that's, the, that's the problem. Says the Gemara, Reisha, the first, case number one, you establish is according to Rebbe, because like the Chacham, you be Chayev. The Sefer, Rebbe, because Rebbe says it openly. When it says Chayev, where you didn't speak it out, is Rabbanon. Ami Rebbe Zeyra, Rebbe Zeyra says the following, Tavra, it's broken. Misha Sanazu, Lai Shanazu. The bright, the Tana who learned this did not learn this. It's two different Tanoim. Rav Ama Kula Rabbanon, he. Okay, all the Rabbanon guys, you know what? What are we changing? We're going to change case number one. We're going to chase case number one. We're going to change that. What are we going to say? It's true that not only was, don't think that just like the owner of the pots, the owner of Balchotza watched excess, I'll be chayev on your pots. The owner of the pots is not going ahead and going to be chayev. Guys, let me tell you the difference. Outside. That is no, 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 no. We want the Rabbanon. We want the Rabbanon. Rabbanon is, is We're changing. You no, know, no, watch this. Watch this. What was the Rabbanon that just like the owner of the, you come in Rishus, the owner of the animal is chayiv in the pots, so too the owner of the pots is chayiv on the animal. Chayiv, chayiv. That was, that's, we're changing this, guys. We're changing this. Watch. There's a difference when I tell you, you can come into my, and Rishus, and you come in, and you're machnes. In other words, if I tell you, you can come in, you know what I'm telling you? I'm going to watch my animals that what, that, that your pot's okay. That I guarantee you. That's what I'm a kabbal upon myself. So therefore, I'm chayev. However, just because you allow me to put my pots there doesn't mean I'm a kabbal shmira that my pots, my, my, no, my pots hurt your animal. Uh, uh, animal so, so the Rabbanon would agree with that. They wouldn't say Yechayev over here, they say Yipater over here. That's what we said in the Diyak of the Reisha, Yipater. So now it comes out Kuli Rabbanon. Okay, says, says the, says the, says Gwana. Rav Amar Kuli Rabbanon he, Ubir Shus Shmira Kedei Rois Kibul Olav Balchatzer. Regarding the, uh, the, the fact that his pots are safe, he's Makabo. Vafilu Nishbu Ruach, even if the Ruach breaks it. Masha Enkein, the owner of the pots, is not Makabo, what? That his, if pots damage the animal. That's the difference between the two. So therefore, like like the like Rava, everything works out well. According to Avzera, guys, according to Avzera, the 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 ratio is is the is Rebbe and the and the safe is the Rabbanon. According to Rava, everything is the Rabbanon. We said if a person brings Paris into the Chutz of the Balabayas without Rishus, and the animal gets damaged with them, right? The Balabayas is Chayev. Amarav, Leishanu that the Balabayas is Chayev, Ela Shehuchleben. Guys, there's two possibilities. How did this animal get damaged? When you think about it, you're bringing Peiris in, guys, outside. You're bringing Peiris in. Why, how's the two possibilities of damage taking place? Either the animal eats itself to death or, or gets damaged by the, the food, or the animal slips on it and gets damaged. And there's other two possibilities. The food damages him, either al yidei achilo, all throughout, like a bar, like it slips on it. So now, loy shanu, says Rav, el shahuchluk behen. When it said that the ba, yechayev, when it says yechayev, if it does damage, it's only speaking when it slipped. Aval achla, if it ate up the fruit and got damaged, potter. My timer, so because the, 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 the nizik, she said to the, the massacre, the nizik, he shouldn't have eaten. He shouldn't have eaten. I didn't have a shush to put it there. It ate and got damaged. It should have eaten. Who the Pashal Nafsha? He was negative. He cost himself. Oh, look, you're right. That I'll pay for. Right? But if it gets but, but after eating. Amrav Sheshes, Amina, I think, Kinaim Meshach Rab Rab must have been slumbering when he said the sugya. The Tanya had nice in Sama Mavis of Nebe Mishavera. Someone puts poison. In front of his, his friend's friend's animal, mm -hmm. so guys, we spoke about groma bin Yisokin, right? We spoke about indirect damage. That groma, in order to be chayiv, you have to masik be a dying. We said if you tie a person up and a snake comes by the person, versus taking the fangs and sticking it on this uh, on the person. So now this is groma. The I I put it there. I didn't put it in the animal's mouth. I put it there. And the animal ate it. So therefore, I'm not a, a, Hashem will take care of me, but in the Jewish courts of Chayshim Mishpat, we can't go ahead and judge this case. 
Some of us who love it, it's a lot. I will pay with the video. I love You know why you put them in the other because some of us is not usually eaten up, but mash my parents that are usually eaten up. You would be high. So, Rav, you're not only high if it's a lot, you'd be high if it eats up also the dick from that. Because some of us, you put them in the other. But my have a little toy. Why don't you say Shanit? I'm me. Who are dinner feel the Paris Nami Pata? The diak you're making, you'd also be put in the yodam. What's your diak, guys? Dafka Sama Mavis, you put in the but not regular food. No, regular food, you'd also be put in. What's the eye? So why did you tell me the Kiddish by Sama Mavis? Well, Kamash Malon, the Afilu Sama Mavis Nami, the Loya Vidi, the Achla, Chai Bedina Shemayim. In other words, you might think that you shouldn't even be Chai Bedina Shemayim at all because it shouldn't eat poison, and it did. Kamash Malon, that you Chai. Be by the same as Sama Mavis Nami. The Afrazasa, the Hainu Peri. You know, it's 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 a Paris that's a poison Paris, and you know it's going to eat it. Still, you put the Bidina Yodam because it's Krama, and you be Chayavat Dine Shamayim. So, again, on that last din, Rav holds court. He says, Dafko Huchliko, but not Paris, right? In the time of Shleyachla, he says that it's it's a good reason. And and the Kasha from Rav Sheshes is not a Kasha. Right.